What a performance by both goalies in game six here. Yeah. Canucks third stringer Artur Shilov's making a name for himself, picks up his second win of the series to help the Canucks advance. So, Marty, do you remember a goalie in this type of scenario pulling off this kind of series win? Not the way Arthur Shilov has done it for the Vancouver Canucks. Let's remember, he only played four NHL games this season and only nine total games in the last two years. So he wasn't to be in this situation. We can look at Aiden Hill last year winning the Cup saying, well, Aiden Hill came in as a third goalie. Yeah, but he had played five years in the NHL. You can look back at Frank Petrangelo in 91. That was his fourth NHL season when he came in for Tom Barrasso in Pittsburgh and Dan Barrasso came back to win the Cup. But what Shilov did in game six for me was so impressive because it was so high pressure. It's 0-0 all the way till the end. Every same ma save matters. But he was so good positionally and also so quick on rebounds. He didn't give Nashville two, three, four opportunities around the crease. He was covering those loose pucks really, really quickly. His head was high. His shoulders were back. Like, he showed confidence. And for a kid that's only played nine NHL games before now, picking up two wins in three games in the playoffs, it's so impressive. Yeah, well, despite the series win, Elias Pettersson continues to have a hard time scoring, still without a goal in the playoffs. Just one in his last 19 games dating back to the regular season. So, Marty, what have you noticed that's causing him to struggle to find the back of the net here? You know what? Elias Pettersson is not shooting the puck the way we know he can shoot it. Uh, not only is he not really efficient in his shots, he's not getting the amount of shots that usually we see him getting. This season, he averaged two and a half shots per game. Two years ago, averaged over three shots per game. And in the six games against the Nashville Predators, he only averaged over a shot per game. In game six, he only had one shot. And it wasn't really a, well, it was a shorthanded scoring chance. Saros made the save. And then he had a few more opportunities in the slot. Just can't find the puck. Now, let's give him credit. He was on the ice when the winning goal went in. He was the one that started to play on the wall. Besser behind the net, and, you know, the game is over But you, with Pew Suter scoring. But Elias Patterson's going to need to find the back of the net. Look, the Vancouver Canucks did not show strong offense in the first round against the Nashville Predators, and it starts with Patterson. Now, luckily, they move on. He can get some rest and then get better in the second round. But it starts with the amount of shots and the quality of the shots that he's taken. Just not enough right now so far in the playoffs. Well, the Canucks move on to take the Oilers in the second round of the playoffs. Vancouver won all four meetings with Edmonton in the regular season and finished first in the Pacific. So, Marty, let's look ahead to the matchup. Who do you think will win this all-Canadian series? Well, I do like the Edmonton Oilers because they have that strong offense. Look, they were fourth in offense this year in the National Hockey League. Not to say that Nashville didn't have a good offense. They were 10th in the NHL. The Nashville Predators did not have Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, uh, Zach Hyman. They didn't have Evan Bouchard at the point, although Roman Yossi is pretty good. But that power play for the Edmonton Oilers is going to be one that, you know, the Vancouver Canucks are not going to be able to take two, three, or four penalties. That, you know, that high stick by Brock Besser in game six, a four-minute power play, that's the end of the game right there. That will not be able to happen against the Edmonton Oilers. So I think that the offense for the Oilers is going to be three or four times more dangerous than when the Nashville Predators were able to show. Now, we don't know what's going to happen in the crease with the Vancouver Canucks. Maybe Shilovs keeps going. Maybe they go to the Smith. Maybe Thatcher Demko comes back. There's a huge question mark with who is going to play in that for Vancouver. If Demko was fully healthy, 100%, I'd say, okay, I can see him really putting the brick wall and being able to step up to face McDavid and Dreisaitl, but it's a whole other, uh, you know, set of uh, circumstances when it's Shilovs or DeSmith against the high-powered offense with the Edmonton Oilers. Yeah, they're a lot to handle. The last time the Oilers and Canucks squared off in the postseason was 32 years ago. Thank you, Marty.